So it's time for the garden. This is again part of the Hametsu series. Uh, I got this terrain along with my uh, the uh, back room that I paid for. Now, uh, the first thing, the first problem that I had, I did have a couple of pieces that were stuck to the uh, to the MDF, but it came off pretty well without any issues. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm putting together the pond first. Now I did put a little bit of PV glue, all, PVA glue all the way around and then I laid the acrylic in. I'm not, I'm not going to make you sit there and, and wait through me putting that in there. After cleaning up the workspace, I went back and I took some PVA glue and some water and I used a, an old paintbrush to paint that PVA glue into all of the cracks and crevices. That way it will stay there a lot better. And once it dries, it dries clear and the most that it will look like is like a ripple in the water. So it's not that big of a deal. Now these sand pits were fairly easy. All you got to do is just put the little um, corrugated uh, paper piece in there and put a little bit of PVA glue around it. Just line it up and let it dry and it sits. Now I do plan on at some point doing a um, probably flocking these with actual sand. As soon as I get some more I'm, I'm actually out. I don't have any sand on hand right now. Now the bridge. The bridge is going to be a little frustrating. Um, and, and we'll show you why here in a second. So the first thing I did, obviously, is put the two slats together. Uh, there was one that was a little bit misaligned. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it to sit right. It didn't matter if I set it on one or the other. It was cut just a little bit off. It's not that big of a deal. It's not going to hurt anything. It's uh, You barely even notice it, honestly, especially once you, once you put the caps on. Because once those caps are on... It, it's not, you know, it, it doesn't even show, to tell you the truth. So um, once you put that side railing on here, this, this little piece there, make sure that you push it down on the table. Stand it up and push it down so it lines up properly, like I'm doing here. Uh, that way you'll be, it'll be sitting flat on the table. Now sheet A is where the stairs, the floor, and the top are. Um, the, the, they call it calls them stairs, but they're they're like the little slats there in the um, in the bridge. This is the part that's going to be frustrating. There is no one you know great way to do this. So what I'm trying here, what I'm attempting is I'm trying to, of course, uh, poorly. Uh, I'm trying to put this the slats in. And kind of balance it together and and I do have quite a rough time with that but you know what I what I end up doing is just kind of pushing those two in the center and leaving them you know pushing them upward and, and you know kind of leaving it um, to dry for a little bit now this one thing you're going to need to do once it once those two center pieces do dry you're going to have to readjust. There is no, there's no way around it. And the thing is, um, and as you can see, just a little frustration there. What I ended up doing on on the side pieces here is putting the glue in and then using my fingers and a paintbrush to kind of push that wooden slat into the, into place. Once all four of those are dry, then you can turn it over and start putting a couple of pieces in at a time. And what I did here is I went ahead and put all the glue where it's going to be just so the glue would be a, start drying a little bit. And if the glue is a little bit more uh, solidified, it will help keep these things straight and keep them in. Now, once I got all of these slats in, as you can see here, one by one, getting them in, uh, you know, and readjust or, you know, um, cleaning the glue off of the sides there. What I did is I stood it upward. Once I, once I gave it a few minutes to dry, I let all of that glue get to the point where it was almost dry. And then I stood it up on its side and I made a few adjustments by pulling the pulling anything apart or pushing it pushing any side together you know uh, moving thing moving the two sides of the bridge back and forth and once I did those adjustments I set it on its side and it's good to go so this is what it looks like with the pond 
very nice very good and it's a lot more straight once I once I did those slight adjustments and I did go back as, as, as you see me pointing here I did go back and put some PVA glue on those uh, on the bottom of the stairs as well and I kind of used water to get those um, to, to get the glue to go into the into the uh, the recesses now this uh, what you want to do with this there is one side that's going to line straight up with with these little circular um, decorations so you want to put your fingers on each side to line it up and then you want to eyeball it like I'm doing here I turned it to the side you want to eyeball the other side to make sure it's as even as possible now if it's a little bit off center it's not going to hurt anything it's it you know it's not going to it's not going to take away from anything um, then I, I go back and I look all around it make sure that all of those little pieces are as straight as I can get them and then I go back once it's dry and or mostly dry <laughs> and I and I set the second piece on top and I, I did just use a little bit of glue and if I put too much I just dab it off with my finger rinse repeat not a big deal and then that's what it looks like with the little decorations on. Of course, I go back with with my wet brush, not not too too wet. Now for the bottom here, of course, the first thing I did was dry fit and make sure you you know where everything lines up. And then you can put it all together, making sure to glue the sides too, because I initially forgot to glue that side and I had to go back with a brush and fix that. So once you get all of that done and together, all you have to do is just put a rubber band on it. Now this is me digging through my stuff trying to find my darn rubber bands until finally I found an extra. Put that on there, flip it on over, and you are good to go. That will, now this, moving on, that does the bottom. The top side, don't put it together first. Put the roof together first, and I'll tell you why. The little tabs, sometimes don't line up very well so in order to get it to line up properly make sure you put this roof on um, after you glue the that midsection the walls now the roof was another it, it was definitely another lesson in patience so these little side pieces here bend just a little bit as you're putting them in to give it kind of a curved look so this is me dry fitting everything once I realized that you're going to have to bend it a little bit, I came up with a, you know, a, a surefire way to keep this thing from falling off. So obviously the first thing you do is you put a little bit of glue in those two, the two uh, post holes there and you attach it and push it in place and then rubber band it. Like I, like I always say, you know, a little bit of rubber band is good. And then I took a little bit of glue and put that glue in the corners. And I'm using that wet brush to brush that in there to make sure there is a bond. I'm doing the same thing with all of the other sides and with these little pieces here, the bottoms of, of the, uh, the little rods that go in there. So once I you know, get a, little, get a wet brush across, across there to get that glue in the recesses, I actually um, I go back and I do a little bit of glue across the top here right so putting a little bit of glue on the top will assist in keeping it from from falling apart now also another thing that I did and and I, I went back and I did a, another dot of glue on all of the um, the outside corners and it, if this is all of this glue it's PVA glue so it's going to dry clear um, that will assist in keeping everything together now the the big problem here is the roof I struggled with, with this a little bit at first uh, what you have to do is you have to bend it manually just slightly you have to adjust this take it slow take it easy don't try and do big bends you do a small bend at first test it another small one test it and go like that then you put a little bit of glue on the outs outside of the little the, the little roof uh, the paper triangles they have here and a little bit on the wooden slat of the roof itself and then what you do is you push it in there and you adjust it as you're pushing now it does make a little bit of a mess but that's okay it'll all dry dry clear I also put rubber bands on the outside of it to keep it from sliding down because it was not staying properly 
Now, once you get the um, get that together, you use a little bit of glue and you uh, line up the the walls here. And once you line those walls up, and once they dry, you're good to go. Now, I did put a rubber band around the walls to keep them tight together, and this is the result. So it looks great. You got you got a, a beautiful geisha here, look overlooking a pond in the evening. And uh, I think this set, it, it definitely, there was a little bit of frustration, but honestly, it looks beautiful. I think it looks great. The, the bridge especially, I have a thing for bridges for whatever reason. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and subscribe, and we will definitely see you on the next video.